What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today I want to go through five stocks that I've bought into in my trading 2 on 2 portfolio. Now three of these are already holdings that I hold on my portfolio but there's also two brand new buys in a completely new sector so I'm kind of happy with that as well because I haven't bought any new stocks in a long long time. It's definitely been at least three to four months since I've added new positions to my portfolio. So now I currently have 33 holdings overall in my stock portfolio. And with all that being said, let's dive right in over to Trading 212. We can see on screen here that we finally hit the 9,000 mark and now we're 9% towards my overall goal of having 100,000 euro invested in the market. We currently have 9,085 euro overall. We can see 8,850 of this is currently invested of 1,242 euro or 16.25%. And we also have 200 euro in free funds. Yesterday evening, I bought into the three current holdings more, the dollar cost average down. And second of all, we bought two brand new holdings, again in a new sector, which we'll go through as well later on. But it's kind of nice to see as well, if you I was kind of looking back at some of my older videos, and you see my portfolio value going up and up, so consistency is certainly key. It's probably about eight to nine months since I started this portfolio, maybe a bit less. But it's nice to see now that we have the over 9,000 euro invested. And to be honest, if I hadn't invested this 9,000 euro, I could have easily wasted it elsewhere and have nothing to show for it. So even though I'm investing it, it technically is saving as well. So I'm quite happy to have this on board. Yesterday evening, before I bought the two brand new stocks, there was currently 31 holdings in the portfolio then, and 27 of those were in the green, four in the red. And the kind of three obvious ones was the iShares Global Clean Energy ETF, High Tide. And we also had my, for the example, we had Nike as well. And now we also have Tesla in the red, albeit only very slightly. So we'll go through which of those four I bought into first now. You can see the first 98 euro invested. On the 26th, we invested 38 of this, 8 euro into high tide to get just under 19 shares and 30 euro into Nike to get 0.27 of a share. Again, this was just the dollar cost average to get an overall cheaper cost. So effectively in the long term, because I'll have an overall cheaper cost, the kind of logistics here or the logic behind this is to make a bigger profit. Then on the 27th, we can see we invested further capital in the form of 60 euro. We put 20 more into Nike to get 0.18 of a share, 20 euro into Aisha's Global Clean Energy to get 1.7 shares, and another 47.3 shares in high tide for 20 euro. We can see here the importance of consistency. Now as a long-term investor, that dollar cost average is down. Consistency is key here. And that consistency, first of all, obviously, is got to do with investing kind of time and time again, every time it goes down in value. However, the main point here is to invest only small sums for example, if you had 1,000 euro to invest into the market, do not invest all 1,000 at once because it could easily go down further in value. So for example, if I had 1,000 euro to invest, I'd probably only be investing 100 at a time to be honest. Because for example, if you invest at 100 euro and the nav or the price for the share was let's say euro, if it goes down in value again to say 90 cent, how are you going to invest further if you put all your money in at the 1 euro mark? So again, you should only slowly to feed your funds in and patience is key if the share price goes up in value after you initially buy that's well and good you're still in the profit but eventually in the long term markets are cyclical and more than likely it will go back down in value so you can get in at a cheaper price again as stated earlier two of my four stocks that are currently in the red sit in consumer discretionary in the form of tesla and nike now tesla i haven't invested further into yet because it's only down 0.28 percent which is nothing only a quarter of a percent now i do in the next few weeks if this does go down in more in value I will be snapping up more because I only have 0.7 of a share at the moment in this stock. So I do want to get it up to the one full share. And again, as mentioned just there, Nike is currently on 1.27%. This was down about 2% before we invested in yesterday. So it's kind of nice to see dollar cost averaging taking effect. As stated, we have 2.7 shares in Nike at the moment, still on 1.28%. But we can see here that it had a fairly substantial dip. Well, substantial, it looks that way on the one-month chart anyway. But again, we can see the dot line here is my average price, probably sitting at about $133 a share. Now it went down to about 126 or so, just a few days back, but we probably got in about 128 mark. Again, this brought down my average cost slightly, but again, there's definitely more room for improvement here. However, saying that, I don't want to invest further unless it goes down more. So at the moment, it's still down about one and a quarter percent. So if it does hit down over two, two and a half, three percent, I'll probably buy more stock here as well. But again, if it kind of stays around this and goes back into the green slightly, I'm going to just leave for now, as I definitely have other better opportunities to make more money in different stocks. 
Another holding in the form of an ETF was what I bought as well over the last few days. We can see this is in the energy sector in the form of the ISO's Global Clean Energy ETF. Now I've made many, many videos on this ETF, so they're all in the description below. But again, in summary, this stock or this ETF was down over 20% a few weeks back. But again, it's after recovering mainly because of plug power now not being their top holding. And to be honest, there's no point going into that in too much detail because I have that in many videos in the description below if you'd like to check those out. And also, this ETF has went from 30 holdings up to 82. So there has been a lot of movement in this ETF over the last few weeks. Now I'm happy because even though it is still down just under 5%, that's not bad considering it was down about 17% more only a few weeks back. And thankfully, because it got in at a lot cheaper prices over the last few weeks, this will definitely pay a dividend in the long term. We currently have just over 36 shares in this ETF. As we can see here, the dotted line is my average cost at the moment, just sitting at probably about £10.30. Now this is on the London Stock Exchange, hence why I'm talking in GBP. Now you can see here the importance of dollar cost averaging, because if we invested further here, which would have seemed a good idea at the time because there was a fairly substantial dip, if we put all our money in here at once, we're, we wouldn't have got in at cheaper prices the whole way down. And again, that is the importance, and this is a great example of consistency dollar cost averaging, and not to kind of throw everything at once, slowly add in funds. And that definitely paid dividend here because we got in at all the cheaper prices the whole way down. So I'm very happy with that. And that was one of the main reasons why it's after going up 17% for me in, in terms of going 17% further back to the green. So if you looked at this chart, you can say, hang on, it actually hasn't gone up 17% or so in the last few weeks. Well, that's mainly because I bought in at cheaper prices, which effectively dropped my overall average cost. And that's what made up the 17%. I also bought two brand new buys. So again, I've asked in prior videos that when we went through my portfolios, my weekly updates, I was kind of lacking in a few sectors. In particular, materials and utilities, I had no holdings in at all. And in real estate, I only had one holding. So I did mention back then when I had 31 holdings that I wanted to have 35 holdings overall. So there's room for four more holdings in that. So in terms of those sectors, I wanted to add at least one more into real estate. I also wanted to add one or two into materials and at least one into utilities as well. So I did ask for your advice over the last few weeks and one of my subscribers, Chris, so thanks very much, Chris, for suggesting these stocks. We invested further into two stocks that he suggested after I did some research and they are both in the material sector. So we can see on screen now that we bought into two holdings here in the form of Barrick Gold and First Majestic Silver. Now, the reason I picked a gold and silver stock is because just like, let's say, my energy sector pie, diversification is key here. So I wanted two different metals as such. Like, for example, there's no point in me investing in five gold stocks or five silver stocks. It's better to have diversification here. And again, we only started off with tiny amounts of capital here. Again, just like any of my other holdings, I start off with a small holding. And as we can see, they're already in the red, which again is actually probably a good thing, if I'm being honest, which as weird as that sounds, because we only invested 40 euro into this sector at the moment. 20 into each at the start. Now, I was going to wait until they went into the red, but obviously they're already gone into the red. So they're down about 2% each at the moment, as we can see here. So probably over the next few days, I will be putting further capital here. Again, nothing crazy, probably another 10, 15, 20 euro here and there, just to slowly build up the position and get my overall average cost down. Now, there was two main reasons why I wanted to add further stocks to my portfolio. The first of these being diversification. Now, as you, if you've seen any of my prior videos, you can even see on the left here, that I really do have my portfolio fairly diversified in my opinion in terms of all different sectors and within subsectors as well so I'm quite happy with how it's going but I was lacking in sectors such as materials, utilities and real estate so I started off with my material sector and the second reason, the kind of reason why I wanted more stocks is to have more opportunities to cost average now my, most of my overall portfolio at the moment is in the green again albeit three or four stocks but again I wanted to add more stocks in because it will give me more opportunities down the line to cost average so I'm quite happy with how they are going at the moment, my overall portfolio. So I'm happy that I now have two material stocks. So what I'll be doing next, firstly, I'll be focusing on those, obviously, in terms of dollar cost averaging down. But I'll also be looking at at least one utilities sector stock and one real estate. So if you have any suggestions, again, comment below and I'll be sure to look into these as well. Now, I forgot to mention earlier, there was also one other stock that was in the red in the form of High Tide, ticker symbol HITIF. Now, just like my iShares Clean Energy ETF, I've made many videos on this stock, so I won't go into too much detail, but at the moment, I have 419 shares, and it's down 13%. Now, again, this was down over 20% only a few days back, so that's not a not bad return, in my opinion. 
Now, again, I've made a lot of detailed videos on this company and why I believe it has huge catalysts and fundamentals going forward, which are in the description below. I made a video on this just a few days back if you'd like to check that out. So basically, in summary, the overall market isn't reflecting this stock at all. In fact, it's very hard to find any negative news on this stock. So in my opinion, I believe the long kind of the bigger investors are dumping the stock to get in at a cheaper price because there isn't really anything suggesting why this stock is down. So again, long term, I believe this has a lot of potential. So that's where we're standing at the moment in terms of my overall portfolio, which now has 33 holdings and again up about 1240 euros. So I'm happy enough with how it's going at the moment. Again, the usual S&P will go up probably 7 to 9, 10% a year. So it's nice to see overall we're beating the S&P as such on average. So we're up 16%. So I'd like to get this up as for obviously as much as I can over the next few months. Um, if you'd like to see a kind of more in-depth video on these two material stocks, I can make a video on them if you wish. But again, they're not really the more exciting stocks. They're not really kind of the likes of Apple or Amazon, etc. So there probably wouldn't be a whole lot to say about those two stocks in the form of Barrick Gold and First Majestic Silver. But again, if you'd like a video on them, I can definitely put one together. In terms of my plan going forward, what I'll be doing firstly again, now I have about four or five in the red at the moment, albeit very small amounts. But I will be focusing on those five, especially my two new buys in the material sector over the next week or so. And trying to get them back all into the green and get as cheap as a cost as I can. Now we saw earlier that I had about 200 euro in free funds. So I'll probably deploy some of that over the next few days. Again, not the whole 200, just 10, 20, 30 euro here and there, which really does make a big difference long term. So that's my plan there. And finally, I'll be looking into my utilities and real estate sectors, like I stated earlier as well. So that's it for today's video. I just wanted to give an update on how the portfolio is doing and what I was buying or selling. Again, I haven't sold anything in a long while, but what stocks I bought. If you found it any way interesting, it'd be much appreciated if you could smash the like button. And I'd be interested to know in the comment section below how your portfolio is doing. And if you believe these two material pie sectors, the two stocks I pick in this sector are worthwhile or not. Thanks very much. Enjoy your Wednesday and I will see you all in tomorrow's video.